Today, we're spending time with Jock Mayer, a national sales manager who's always on the road planning new ventures and promotions. Even without a structured routine, he keeps up with his fitness program. Now tell me a bit about your sport. What do you like to do? At school, I was very competitive in terms of athletics and so forth. And doing just gym work, you actually forget what it feels like to actually be a competitor. And just started doing cycling and a little bit of gymming still. Doing a little bit of circuit training and then along with it, cycling most of the other days. So you have a wide variety of training that you do? I try to do a variety because the thing is the more you do different types of integration of different sport types, your major sport gets better. Cycling is Jock's favourite pastime. Everything from spinning to off-road racing as long as he's pedalling. His gym routine is tailored to make him a stronger competitor in the saddle. How do you manage to keep a healthy balanced diet with you being out on the road all day? What I normally do, I make a huge pot of rice, brown and white rice mixed, and chicken breasts, and I divide that up in portions for specific, like either lunch or um, supper, and then in between my meals, I would have protein shakes in terms of either pure protein or diet fuel, just substitutes protein, fats and carbs, and that can help me to maintain my, my anabolic effect, if you want to call it that, throughout the day. So what I'm hearing is, it comes down to preparation. I would say if you don't prepare, you're setting yourself up for failure in terms of what you can achieve throughout the week. Tell me a bit about the two meal replacements that you've mentioned, the pure protein and the diet fuel. Why are they good options? Firstly, diet fuel, what it just does, it gives you a whole meal in terms of all your basic elements, fats, carbs and proteins, but in such a, um, how can I say, ratio, that you're not going to pack on fat and you are going to get all the nutrients in that you need to substitute a specific meal. Why I like to take pure protein, doesn't contain any carbohydrates, maybe one or two grams, no fats. It helps to keep your body anabolic. And what I would normally have with a pure protein in between your meals at 11 and 3 would be either a green apple or some almonds or uh, berries, just to get some kind of fructose and an energy source in with it, but still getting good quality protein from that that's going to help you to be anabolic throughout the day. Anabolism is a muscle building and fat burning state. Bone density also has the ability to increase through the anabolic process. It's achieved through exercise and a healthy diet. Now when it comes to the pure protein and the diet fuel, do, do they differ from person to person according to their goals? Normally uh, people that just starting out with a weight loss diet, they would use diet fuel. It gives you a structure in terms of replacing one of the meals throughout the day. Pure protein where it comes in, if you're really on a program where you want to uh, define yourself and you don't want any extra carbs, you would use that directly after training and substituting it um, as either in between a meal or directly after training and also before you go and sleep at night is a sustained release protein so it's going to help you to sustain your anabolic effect while sleeping and also throughout the day without, without adding any added calories and so forth. And in terms of weight loss, what other products can you add into this mix? You need to take something which is a thermogenic agent, so you can utilize fats for energy. And that's where FedraCut XT would normally come into the picture. We normally say use it in the morning and before lunch. Then um, you can use CLA, which CLA is a body toner that actually gets the fats that's in your dormant in your body, actually has free form fatty acids into your bloodstream and then while using FedraCut the body can actually utilize that fatty acids effectively and yeah, get rid of it. Also giving you the energy boost you need to stay motivated and see great results. The first step towards a new body however is to make a commitment to change your lifestyle. Now Jacques, if a guy comes up to you and says I would like to lose some weight, what would you say? I would say you need to start with body and lifestyle transformation pack that we've got. In the Body and Lifestyle Transformation Pack, there's a step-to-step -step guide telling you exactly what you should use, how you should use it. As, as soon as you've done that, you'll get a good idea or understanding in terms of what specific products you're going to need for your goals that you want to achieve. And then you can go out and buy the, the if you want to call it, the bulk packs in terms of that specific product. Any one of us have 30, 30 minutes, three, four times a week to spend. And if you use it effectively, it's more than enough to achieve what you want to achieve. Jock's competing in the Cape Epic early next year. This is a grueling race over 800 kilometers long, the ultimate proof that nothing is impossible once you've made a commitment to change your body and your life. Share your journey and get expert advice on the USNSA page on Facebook.